Good day mates, Frosty back at you with another guide for one of the hardest maps in the game, Muddy Puddles. Our boy Quince is going to be taking the lead role today, so strap yourselves in and let's get stuck into it. A Quincy start on the left side here. It's super precise if you don't want to micro, but with a small amount of effort you can clear every round no problem. Start Quincy on strong, then back to first after you clear the first few greens. You'll then move him to last at the start of round 7, and again back to first after the green wave. Here's the tricky bit. You're going to place the dart in as tight to the top of this gap. It might take a few tries to get it lined up properly, but when you know, it's quite easy. Set it to last. The sub is a lot easier. Use the vision range to get in the right spot. Come round 10, place the dart with the eyes in the middle of the sub's hat. It's the best visual explanation I can give. It will be set to last, and both the sub and the dart will be set to strong. Again, this round is tricky, so don't get too frustrated if you get it wrong. It's the toughest part of the run, I swear. During the large wave of blues at the end of round 10, switch your top dart to first, then place a dart down bottom on the right tire track. If everything goes according to plan, you should clutch it out. Back to simple instructions for now. On round 12, rapid fire the yellow blues. Place a sniper on strong up here before round 13. Before round 14, place a sub so that the sight lines are in the middle of the left lane. You shouldn't need to ability this wave, but you can anyway if needed. On round 15, you want to put a second sniper down on strong down here in the middle of the round. If you're really fast, you won't need to micro it terribly much. Same idea with round 16. Just be careful and re be ready to switch to first if needed. Upgrade your middle sub to advanced intel, then rapid fire the last wave of greens for round 18. For round 19, be prepared to micro the bottom sniper. You won't need to sometimes, but you can't always be sure. Sniper timing is very funny. Upgrade your sub to twin guns, then after round 20 place a dart monkey for vision up top. Upgrade your top sniper to 100 and prepare to micro for 22 and 23. Again, sometimes you won't, sometimes you will, just get lucky. If you make it past this point, congratulations, this map is nowhere near as tough. First order of business, rapid fire the purples on round 25. Upgrade your sub to air burst darts. Grab a druid with vision of both lanes here. Upgrade it to a druid of the jungle over the next few rounds. Upgrade your middle right dart to see Cambo to prevent an embarrassing death and starting all over again. Upgrade your sub to triple guns. On 36, you won't always need to rapid fire the first wave, but you should anyway just in case, unlike I do here. Upgrade your sub to armor piercing in the middle of 37. Rapid fire the camos as well. Lastly, after round 39, grab an alchemist and upgrade it to 300. Don't get it before, you'll need the Berserker Brew buff to make the kill on the Moab consistent. Alright, time to cruise for a bit. Grab two discount villagers here and here. The closer you can pack them into the pond, the better. Give both of them larger radius. Get another sub and place it as close to the first sub as possible and upgrade it to a 203. Do not worry about optimizing your village discounts, the more subs you can fit in, the better. Grab one more sub next to that sub and upgrade this one to a 220. Lastly, grab jungle drums on the close village and upgrade your alchemist to a 420. Chill for a few rounds, then plug yourself back in for round 55 where you'll arrow storm the fourth ceramic wave. It's the big one, you can't miss it. Or you'll lose. So uh, don't do that. Now we're smooth sailing all the way up to round 63. You'll arrow storm the first wave and grab a sub commander right away. Now we can really kick back and play some Tetris. Time to fill this pool with subs. You can fit 8 in if you're really tight, but as you'll see here, 7 is more than enough. You'll upgrade these subs to 203 whenever you can afford them. I'd also recommend upgrading your top right down monkey to see camo as well, but that's mostly for the range. Finally, grab another 4 tour alchemist here, arrow storm the camo wave on 78, now buy up a first strike on 79, and you'll use said first strike on 80, how convenient. Alright, time to save up for preemptive strike. First things first, you'll need a first strike, the last UMG on 87, and then purchase it at the start of 88. It's going to be your primary DDT defense, and it does a pretty good job of it. See? After a 92, you'll pick up a 024 mortar. Move this each round to whichever lane you are against. Do not forget this. In the middle of 94, start upgrading your subs to armor piercing dart. It's a close round, so don't leave it for too long like I do. You'll first strike the second UMG, don't buy this ninja, no, don't do that, you'll arrow storm the last bunch here and really make sure you do not buy this ninja yet, dude, just buy armor piercing darts, come on, man! 
After 96, finalize upgrading all your subs to armor piercing and first strike the second ZUMG on 97. Now you'll buy a sabotage. Honey Ed is a bit of a doozy. Rapid shot once the ZMGs start to round the first curve, then arrow storms when the BFBs are about to start going around the second curve. Try to make sure that the BFBs do not make it around that curve, otherwise it's making it a lot harder for yourself. Grab a 401 eyes and sabotage on round 99. Before round hundo, grab an overdrive and whatever else your money can afford. You should watch for the damage phases and try to count 3 seconds when it hits the final damage phase. Or alternatively, first strike once the front reaches this corner. If it doesn't work, be prepared to arrow storm and pray that it works out for you. Thanks for watching this guide, hope it helped. If it did, let me know down in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that good jazz, and I'll see you now next time.